Fingerprints. Every human has them. And so does every koala. Not this koala, it's fake. We wanted a real one, but they sleep like 18 hours a day and it's hard to find the window where they have enough energy to perform. Anyway, what makes koala fingerprints unique is surprising. Their tiny little paws contain tiny little pads that are just about the size of a human fingertip. And the prints on those little human fingertip sized paw pads, get this, they look just like human ones. In fact, they're so similar, they've even confused forensic professionals. I know what you're thinking. OMG, are humans and koalas related? I hate to burst your bubble, but no. Humans and koalas' last common ancestor lived more than 100 million years ago, which makes humans more genetically related to cows than koalas. So why do koalas have incredibly human-like fingerprints? Science thinks that these fingerprints help with koalas' grip and prevents blistering when they're climbing around trees all day, which is handy because they're always in trees. They can even spend 18 to 22 hours a day sleeping in trees. So having a good grip seems pretty important to prevent the whole falling to the ground while sleeping thing. And for anyone who had a top bunk at summer camp, you know how that can be. Fingerprints also help us with our sense of touch. When skin makes contact with an object, tiny vibrations occur. Fingerprints increase the sensitivity to those sensations by 100 times. You can test this fact like this. Touch something textured with the back of your hand. Now, touch it with your fingertips. I can feel so much more detail with my fingers. Koalas can use this to detect eucalyptus leaves from other leaves. Koalas mainly eat eucalyptus leaves and it has a sort of sticky, rough texture. So the koala's fingerprints tell them, eucalyptus, food. Other leaves, not food. The lesson here today is that since koalas' fingerprints match human fingerprints, they can likely get away with the perfect crime. But unless you're storing a bunch of eucalyptus trees in your safe deposit box, you really don't have anything to worry about.